kind of what everybody around social media was saying was Western Kentucky football was fun again. Obviously, everybody looks at the offense putting up the points like they did in the mid 2010s. You know, what was that first game? You know, with Zach Kittley as the offensive coordinator, like for you? It was it was really fun. You know, I haven't been a part of an offense like that since I've been here. Uh, you know, that's the most I think I've scored since I've been here. So I mean, it was very exciting. Obviously, we got some things to fix, but. Starting off, that was, that was a great way to start the season. You know, for Bailey, he was protected all night long. I think he got hit maybe one time. There was just something happened there. But for the old line to protect him like that in that first game, how big was that? Oh, uh, big time. You know, it's great to give him confidence in us and, uh, you know, just allowing him to do what he needs to do. Obviously, great things happen when we, when we make that happen. Uh, Cole, you know, you all had a really good yards for carry last game. Uh, and Coach and our Coach Helton and Coach Kitley talked about establishing the run game. You know, what is it like for you just to be able to have that uh, – Type of, um, I think the word here, the uh, I just have that uh, mentality to go in and like we're going to run it down their throat this week. You know, obviously, you know, establishing a good run game, run game is essential just because you know mm -hmm. it takes stress off the quarterback knowing that yeah. hey, if we can't get it on the passing game, we can always get it on the run game. So mm -hmm. just doing that, uh, giving our running backs confidence, makes them happy. You know, we got some great backs, so just allowing them to do their thing and you know, like you said, running down people's throats. You know, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. well, you were here. Last time you guys played Army here, you had you know, Coach Ellis as the OC, you had Ty as the quarterback. You know, how was preparation for the game you know, this time around different from what you remember about preparation for Army you know, a couple of years back? Uh, preparation is pretty much the same. You know, Army's, you know, they have a bunch of great players. They're fundamentally sound. Um, they have a motor that keeps on going. So just getting your mindset prepared for that and understanding that these guys don't make mistakes. So you know, we have to come to the ballpark with our A game as well. You know, I know we've talked about you know those three guys that you played with on the line that are gone now uh, quite a bit. The you know three guys in there now. You know I think they call them Tick, and Tick. Tavius Lovely, uh, and uh, you know Bo and Rusty. I guess what was it like, you know, being out there with those guys, you know, for the first time starting and having that be like the main group. It was good. Um, you know, obviously we had had that going during camp, so just getting out there on game day and you know us kind of meshing, taking what we did in practice and carrying it over to the game. You know, I thought we had a great chemistry out there and obviously the results spoke for itself on, on uh, last Thursday so you know I thought it was a good time. Seeing Bailey and Jareth getting those honors that they got this week I mean how much does that juice you up for a team against Army which based on that you know what's your scouting report of their defense and so yeah just like I said what does it mean to help those guys get those honors and you know how's that going to help you guys against Army with what you've seen from them so far? Uh, starting with the honors you know super psyched up for those guys well deserved they both had great performances um, but now obviously we're on to the next and in terms of Army you know like I said earlier high motor players uh, fundamentally sound they don't make mistakes so like I said we got to come to the ballpark with our A game as well because they for sure will. Uh, Coach uh, Kelly talked about maybe slowing the pace down a little bit you know how you prepare to like kind of just change up the tempo of the offense for this week uh, and not have it throw you off during the game? Uh, I mean, it's all the same. You know, we're obviously used to going fast. So, I mean, if Bailey wants to slow it down, then we'll be we'll be probably 100% ready for that. I can't imagine that would be a problem for us. The guy we're getting ready to talk to, Kai, kind of came out of nowhere. Nobody was really talking about him heading into the season. And then Thursday, he just, you know, comes out and leads you guys rushing. Um, I guess what's it been like watching him since he's been here and, you know, seeing him have the performance that he did in the uh, Watching Robichaud during camp, he'd had a, he had a great camp, right? Um, he didn't work with us too much at first, and obviously he's, he kind of started first on the scene. And I was like, man, this kid can run. This kid, this kid puts his head down. This kid gets in, in the, he'll put his head down, run between the tackles, and he'll get some yards. So pretty excited about him. Obviously he had a pretty good showing Thursday. So I'm pretty excited to see what else he can do.